Good morning, Cohelan's Adventures. Uh, this is Cohelan Adventures update number 50. And uh, maybe call this lots of none at all. Uh, we, we are at 544 subscribers at this moment, up from 515 last week. So that's a nice size jump, almost 30. Uh, we're at 2140 watch hours. So, um, slower viewing there. Uh, I have on the community page on uh, Yahoo a, um, a poll, a uh, questionnaire as to what concert you, or footage you would like to see first. I have the Blasters in 2019 at the Coach House. I have Firefall and ARS uh, Atlanta Rhythm section at the Coach House in 2018. Uh, Hillman and McGuinn at uh, the Ace Hotel on the 50th anniversary of um, Sweetheart of the um, Rodeo uh, show. I have Toto at the Pacific Amphitheater at 2018, and also The Rascals, consisting of Felix Cavallari, Gene Cornish, and Carmen Athis on drums at the Grove of Anaheim, also 2018. So go over there, vote, see what I should be posting first. I have all of them ready to go. Uh, I just need to um, publish them and get them ready. So I'm going to go in the order in which you want to see them first. Um, as to last week, I only saw one concert. That was Love, Love Band at the Wayfarer. Uh, Sunday night, and I also did an interview with uh, one of the two guitarists, not Johnny Eccles, the the original member of Love, but uh, Mark Mark yeah, Mike Randall, um, who is the co lead guitarist with Johnny, and it was a really interesting like history of how Baby Lemonade uh, became Arthur Lee's backing band, and then when Johnny and Arthur were both in Love together before. Arthur's passing, and um, a little sneak preview as to a future show that they're going to be doing. So check that out. And um, that was it for last week. Uh, this week, there's a lot of things I could be seeing, but economics are killing me. Uh, I have a, a debt to repay from a tragic mishap seeing Manhattan transfer and having my car towed stolen and it cost me like four hundred dollars so uh this month and next month I'm repaying that usually about the middle of the month so this time of the month it's uh I'm strapped what I could have been seeing tonight uh at Seagerstrom again the scene of the crime uh would have been the Monterey Jazz Festival on tour with Kurt Elling, who I've just recently posted some shorts of that have done really well. I saw him at Zibelon um, near Dodger Stadium on Fletcher Drive back in October of last year, and that was a revelation to me. And also Dee Dee Bridgewater and uh, three other musicians, a bassist, a pianist, a saxophonist, and a drummer, who I don't know anything about, but it would have been a wonderful show to see. I could have even gotten cheap tickets through uh, Gold Star, but alas, no funds to even buy those because I owe. I owe. It's off to work, I know. Anyway, um, what else on the calendar? Tomorrow could have been going up to Herb Albert's Vibrato at the top of Beverly Glen and taking a bar seat, the cheapest ones available, if there were any, for $40 to see Danny Serafin's California Transit Authority, which also had it has Ed Roth and Mark Bonilla and uh, Trevor, God, I just lost his name, um, the bassist, uh, a vocalist who I don't know who they would have at this particular time, and their horn section. That would have been wonderful. But, again, no luck on that. Um, Friday could have gone to the baked potato to see Bernie Drizzle's uh, BBD, it's Bernie, Bernie's big band. Uh, it's like anywhere from nine to 20 people crammed on a stage, horns and all kinds of instruments. 
but I won't be seeing that. I might possibly, if I can pay off this month's uh, loan, see the refugees at the coffee gallery uh, up in Altadena. Uh, that consists of Deborah Holland, Wendy Waldman, and Sydney Bullens, uh, all excellent musicians. They've been together off and on. I saw them last time around 2008 out in Thousand Oaks, someplace around there. This would be the first time to see them again. I'd, I'd really like to see that, but we'll see. Um, Saturday, I wanted to see Dave Moroda and friends up at Bogies. I haven't been to Bogies for a long time. It's way out there. It's like 90 miles one way. Uh, but both shows are nearly sold out. Actually, they may be all, both sold out now. The early show had one bar seat left available. But I couldn't buy it. So um, if it's still there, I might do that. Uh, the plan was to see that and then afterwards jump down the freeway to the baked potato, which is, would be on the way home from Thousand Oaks um, or Westlake Village, actually, um, to see Don Randy and Quest's late second set after 10 p.m. I might get there a little bit late, but um, that may or may not happen. And that will be it for this coming week. Um, so in lieu of that, I'm going back through my archive of things that I haven't posted or I don't think I've posted and pulling up some somewhat obscure things and trying to get those uploaded. So um, go through that and see what you think. Also, in the last two weeks, we lost Jeff Beck and David Crosby, and I posted some videos that I've seen of them. Jeff Beck, I was fortunate enough to see at least five times back in the early 70s. I saw him twice at least at in Long Beach, either the arena or the, um, what do they call the other one? Long Beach Auditorium, Auditorium or Arena. Um, I saw him first with the Jeff Beck group. I might have seen that group twice uh, between the Jeff Beck group and the um, Rough and Ready period. After that, I saw Beck Bogan a piece there, and then I saw him at Shoreline Amphitheater with Santana in the 90s, I believe, and then uh, 2019 at the Stars Align concert with uh, Paul Rogers and Anna Wilson doing separate sets, and then just recently at the Grove of Anaheim, um, just last year. And uh, so I have some footage available from that, just the last, the um, Stars Align tour and the Grove of Anaheim. So some of those videos are up. Uh, check those out. David Crosby, I was fortunate enough to see three times. First time was with James Taylor and then section opening, uh, they back James. And then during the song Mexico, Crosby and Nash came out and sang their backing vocals on that song from the album. So that was a thrill. Um, also that night, his new wife at the time, Carly Simon, came out and sang Mockingbird for the, I believe it was the encore. So that was a great first introduction. And then later I saw him at the Grove of Mannheim, and I just recently posted some videos of that. Uh, with the Lighthouse Band, and it was uh, two women and uh, a, gu a guy guitarist, so four people on stage. Harmonies are wonderful. And then the last time was uh, at California Saga 2, where he was backed by three of the members of the media family, um, and uh, just a whole bunch of people from the tribe and the people who were putting on the show. It was a, it was a great show, and they did uh, several Crosby or Crosby, Stills, and Nash songs. So check those out. Um, and that's about it. Uh, I hope you're going to concerts. I hope you're seeing more concerts this week than I'm going to be seeing, and uh, you know, hope for the future for more concerts. But I've got a ton of backload of videos, so I'm going to cull through those. 
I'm going to try and find a lot of um, non-copyright and uh, copyright claimed material so I can do a lot of uh, uh, shorts out of those because those are really impacting the viewership of, of our channel. So hopefully we'll be able to grow continuously and get the watch hours up to the point where maybe just after the, the one year anniversary of the channel, which is coming up in April, we might crack into that uh, partner program with YouTube and I'll be able to do things like uh, put a storefront or something up so I can monetize better or at all. Uh, which would mean more concerts and more videos and that sort of thing. So uh, that's the plan. Oh, and Patreon. Uh, Patreon is now a little bit more active. Uh, we, we have one patron. Hopefully he's still there. I mixed questions about whether he's, he's a continuing member or not, but um, I, I thank him for that, uh, being the first guinea pig to the channel. I've uploaded a lot of videos that have been um, taken down by YouTube. So if you go in and look under Patreon exclusive, all those videos that uh, I can't run on, on this channel on YouTube uh, will be there. And there's a lot of other material that I'll do that is like copyright claimed. Uh, so I'll have more just um, non-copyright claimed material so that I can actually make shorts out of them. Because that's, I think, really the the path to go with YouTube now is just finding the non-copyright copyright claimed material and posting that up here. So until then, as always, get thee to a concert, which I wish I could be doing more of this week. And uh, much love. Take care.